Hello, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, today we're going to be talking Jerusalem artichokes. Uh, but first I just want to show you the uh, compost that I've bought this year. So I've been very naughty and I've bought four bags of uh, multi-purpose compost and one bag of uh, Grow Organic, similar to uh, 6X. Uh, I've got some really old uh, Grow Organic I'm going to put in the bottom of the Jerusalem artichokes. But other than that, I'm pretty self-sufficient. I need that for my long roots and for the tops of the carrots and parsnips when we sow the seeds into the uh, top of the yoghurt pots. So we basically, that's the leaf mould. This is the cocoa koi that we uh, find that's unscrupulously uh, dumped. There's the compost with the perlite in. Here are some of the siftings from my homemade compost that we made this time last year. And uh, these are the four year old wood chips. We're gonna sit in there and uh, let rot down. And then of course we've got the worm bin. And I'm so glad that uh, I got this repaired and uh, we've managed to collect enough water. We'll see if Mr. Rat's at home. I promise I shan't run off like a girl, but uh, he's not about. And uh, there's uh, the worm bin. We added a bit of manure and uh, leaves. The worms uh, are loving it. They're just uh, taking refuge. As he drops it down. There are my uh, leaf mould bins. And here's the soil that we collected from another part of my allotment that we've now dug all out where the fruit trees used to be and we grew our condor potatoes. So soil, you just need soil to mix in with the compost uh, to add the, uh, give it a bit of body. There's one of my comfrey beds. And lastly, uh, my manure. The one on the right is full and we won't be touching that till this time next year and uh, all the juices run out and overflow and we use that to help the beds as well we'll be putting some of that with the jerusalem artichokes and this one's filling up nicely i'll pick it up whenever i can these are basically just uh, just the nuggets so they're uh, quite warm that is Grab that, perhaps fill my pockets. Oh, that's nice and warm. And uh, the juices all run out of that into here. And the one's almost full, so I'll be taking some out of that. And we top these bins up with the liquid manure as well. But this bin here, we won't touch this uh, till 2000 and so next year, 20, 2026. Ooh, close to retirement then. And this is some of the compost that we find that's unscrupulously dumped by the cannabis growers. This was part of a, a find of nearly 3,800 litres. So this is one of my square foot gardening beds. Uh, we managed to get hold of a few scaffold planks. Weren't brilliant, but I got them. Raised it up one, lined it, put the cardboard back in the bottom, and I thought, Let's have a permanent bed for the Jerusalem artichokes because I've grown them in the ground and they spread. Struggled to get them back out. I tried them in a big container, that was fine. But I got ended up with big Jerusalem artichokes. So then I went to pots. But then when I did that, I got the small Jerusalem artichokes, but I didn't get the flowers. So I want the flowers. So I'm going, going to go for a big container again. Let's get the cardboard out. I don't know what you can see because of the sunshine. You probably can't see that, but there's a manure layer in there that I covered with cardboard. I'm going to add some of the compost with the perlite in that we find out of those bags. So uh, that's uh, really uh, cracking stuff that we get for free. So we'll just stamp it up over the top. That will just give us give the worms something to do. I'm just going to pop up in there some steaming manure. This is the fresh manure. 
you might be able to see it steam in there and uh, you can see everything that's going on all the uh, microorganisms see I normally say orgasms so I'm getting there guys but uh, that's doing its work I wish I'd have put my gloves in that I wonder it don't cook the worms, the worms are loving it, but uh, I wonder it don't cook them. I'll add a layer of my homemade compost, wormery bin, sorry. See why people use manure as a hot bin? Uh, looks like I've uh, found the top of a rocket in my homemade compost at the worm bin. So when I first started, I ended up with 12 of uh, Jerusalem artichokes. I'll put some in here. I was saving for seed. They're just starting to sprout now. Very hardy. I'm sure, I saved enough just to go in this bed. But if you've got soil within Jerusalem artichokes, reuse it. Don't put it in your compost bin. Don't do nothing other than keep it with the Jerusalem artichokes. Else, you'll have Jerusalem artichokes absolutely everywhere. But I started off with 12, it cost me £24 for 12 from a seed company. I've managed to give loads away to my uh, viewers. And uh, these are the sort of size I like. I like those bits because they go into my uh, lunchbox really well. So I'll be doing a reveal today. me using the trowel but we planted those the 11th of the second 23 so they've been in there quite a while and then we can just throw these in I don't think it matters bum up or bum down I think I'm gonna need some more in there so I think I'll do a, a reveal now I don't think you can see there so I'll just move you stalk is they just grow up the stalk some of these might have rotted off by the look of it that's been wet but uh, you can see they're just just starting to sprout there so we'll just fire them straight in I do need some from home but I've got other ones to do it's not worth that play ball get rid of that so I'm gonna put all that compost and cover all those Jerusalem artichokes up that'll be more than enough to last me uh, a season I need some to eat guys so there's the stalk uh, and there's some of the uh, Jerusalem artichokes but yeah, it does look like they're uh, no, I'm gonna waste these I'll go in there just the minute piece will end up growing right I'll get this sorted at least hopefully take some home I've added some cocoa koi that I took off the carrot bed that was insulating the carrots some of the compost I made uh, this time last year from the wormery bin homemade compost that went into the potatoes that we've been harvesting recently and some more compost with the added perlite that we find mixed all together and I still find a potato that I missed yum yum some four year old wood chips and I'm going to top it up with uh, some leaves that I use to mulch uh, one of the beds I've still got a few more to fetch so I'll level these out and add some more so before we add the uh, last layer we'll tip some of the uh, liquid uh, black gold from the manure bin it's in neat These leaves will rot down, ready for next year, so I can top it up with something else. 
and it gives you a chance to have a fertile round. But remember, don't make the mistakes I did and take on board everything that I've said. And uh, they won't get out of hand. job done I'm looking forward in the summer to seeing those beautiful uh, sunflower type flowers uh, that they produce these take a bit of cleaning called Jerusalem fartichokes don't we I'll give these a good scrub guys I don't trim these at the allotment for obvious reasons and I'll just cut all the good bits out and I'll add that to today's uh, winter harvest Hope you've enjoyed that. Please leave in the comments any issues you've had with Jerusalem artichokes, not just passing wind, obviously, uh, but uh, growing them, etc., and the types, varieties, uh, just to help other people so that they don't make the same mistakes that I have, or perhaps you have. Please give me a thumbs up, thumb down for the interaction as I wobble about. Leave me a comment, and why not consider subscribing. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Ta-ra for now. Uh -huh.